Okay, the last install we need to do, sudo apt get install uh, the library files for Apache and also we're looking for the mod and author files for my SQL. So this will stitch um, basically Apache and MySQL together. Also we're looking for the um, PHP 5 and the MySQL handlers as well. So by running this command you'll actually stitch the MySQL, answer yes again, you stitch the MySQL, the PHP and Apache together as a web server and we're ready then to test all the sections. Now the first thing we're going to check is our MySQL. So we're going to log into the MySQL server and we're going to need to add a password and we need to log in as a user and the user is going to be root and the password at the moment with the minus p will be private so you can't see it and we know that the password is lwm and press enter and you notice that we've gone away from the cursor with the directory structure to now mysql and forward slash so we know that we're in the mysql server so i can actually put in here show databases with a semicolon afterwards and it'll show me all the current databases that are installed at the root directory so as root i can um, add databases delete databases to exit the system i'm just going to type in exit with a semicolon afterwards and press enter and now i'm back to the command prompt once more you see pi l marsden so we know that that's working fine and everything's good there so what we're going to do now is we're going to change directories we're going to go cd forward slash and we're going to go to a folder which is var so if you go va you can go r or push the tab key and it will sort of complete the sentence for you and we want to go into the web one www so cd forward slash var forward slash www forward slash press enter and you notice that you can see the directory change here and i can go ls to list all the files that are in that directory which is index.html what I want to do is create a test file for my PHP. So I'm going to use a text editor. So once again, I need to use the root command, sudo, and I'm going to use nano, which is my N-A-N-O, my text editor. And I want to create one called index.php. So this is going to be my new file. And I'm going to press enter. And that will let me open up into a text editor. And I'm going to use a PHP command, which is um, bracket, like a, a normal tag, but with a question mark. The question mark means it's going to be PHP. I'm going to tell the system it is PHP. Press enter. And it's going to be PHP info bracket bracket semicolon. So I want it to run a function called PHP info. This will actually tell me all the information about the PHP install and I just want to close that tag off as well. Now I want to save that file, so I'm going to go Control X to exit, push Y for yes I want to save, press enter because I'm happy with index.php as my file name, and it saved that file. So now if I go ls, we should see the two files there, which is index.html and also index.php. Now to check that my PHP is working correctly, I'm going to click on the browser and open the browser up and I'm just going to go to localhost so you can actually go um, localhost and just press enter and it should come up it works so we know that it is working so now what I want to do is call my index.php and press enter and if everything's installed correctly you should see this screen which is a PHP and under um, additional INIs, you'll actually see in here there is the uh, MySQL and also the Apache 2 configs. So they're all set up and ready to run. So what we've done now is successfully installed a LAMP and we're ready to go to do whatever you want to do in PHP and MySQL.